En quoi tu Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. For today's proceeding, the trial chamber will hear the testimony of a civil party that is true TCCP 304 as informed by an email by the Senior legal officer of the trial chamber Comme on the on a afternoon hors last week. La and Ms. G.S. Huang, could you report the attendance of the parties Madame and Kaffir, individuals through today's proceedings? The Grab Chair, Mr. Greffier. President, for today's proceedings. All parties to discuss are present. Présent, as for Mr. Nunchi, he is present in the Nunchia, holding cell downstairs as he requests to wear his rights to be present in the courtroom. His waiver has been delivered to the aggressive. The witness who is to testify today, that is through TCCP 304, is President, thank you, Ms. Jisoo Huang. Merci, the chamber Madame. now decides on the request la by Nguyen Chia. Sur la par Nguyen Chia. The chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Chia, dated 24 Nguyen Chia, March 2015, March 2015, and he confirms that you, through his poor health condition, that is headache, back pain, and that he cannot sit for long, and in order to effectively participate in the future hearings, request to waive his right to be to participate in and be present at the 24th March 2015 hearing. He has been informed by his counsel about the consequence of this waiver that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report by the duty doctor for the accused Nguyen Chi at the ECCC, the 24th March 2015, who notes that the health condition of Nguyen Chi is that he is unchanged, but he has a chronic back pain and cannot sit for long, and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the Chamber grants Nunchi's request to follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs via an audio visual means for today's proceedings as he waves his direct presence in the courtroom. The AB unit is instructed to Les link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nguyen Chia can participate in and follow today's proceedings remotely. For the uh, proceeding to hear the testimony of two TCCP 304, which is scheduled for today and tomorrow morning, matin, the Chamber will follow the decisions of a protective measure. Et nous allons as in the decision of the trial chamber dated 19 March 2015, that is document E316-2-2, which the trial chamber orders that the 
voice and the video of Ordonner this witness shall not be made public. For that reason, the trial chamber orders the AB unit to nous demandons donc au service technique block the audio and video of this witness and as for the personal background and information of this civil party as well as his uh, place of birth, his family members' names and his uh, occupations shall also be kept confidential. And due to the technical issues, the Chamber will appoint Mr. Nyam Samnang to sit Nyam next to the civil party in order to assist uh, with the uh, voice uh, transformation uh, blocking. À ce que la voix de la partie civile soit bien transformée, modifiée. And Mr. Civil Party, can you tell the chamber your name? Monsieur la partie civile, pourriez-vous donner votre nom à la chambre, s'il vous plaît? Uh, President, Le President, Mr. Civil Party, uh, please uh, respond plaît, to the chamber question. question. As for the assistant, you will be advised as to when you uh, shall act. The chamber needs to hear the name of this civil Nous party. Votre nom. Civil party. La partie civile. Mr. President, my name is so Tseng. Je m'appelle so Tseng. And Mr. Civil Party, can you tell the chamber your date of birth? Can you tell the chamber your date of birth? Answer. Réponse. Answer. Answer. I was born in the year of 1957. Je suis né en 1957. President, thank you. Le président, merci. Can you read and write the Khmer language? Savez-vous lire et écrire en Khmer? Answer. Réponse. I did not uh, study the Khmer letters or Khmer alphabets in details, so I uh, cannot read détail. or write the Khmer language. Je ne peux pas bien lire President, as the civil party uh, cannot read and write, Mr. Nyam Somnang, a member Monsieur of Wisu, is assigned to read or to whisper to the civil party the question and the answer by making a tick on the document in his hand. And Mr. Nyam Samnang, do you have that list of uh, questions with you? And if that is the case, uh, please uh, make the arrangement as instructed by the uh, trial chamber. In fact, uh, there are five questions on that document. Sur le document qui vous a été remis, figure cinq questions. And uh, all parties are informed that uh, the Toutes question is about his place of birth. About his current address, and the third question is about his uh, current occupation, and question number four is about uh, his father's name and mother's name, and question number five is about his wife's name and the number of uh, children. That is the list of questions about his personal information and background. Et les informations personnelles de cette partie civile. Mr. Assistant, please uh, do it 
in a whispering form and don't speak too loud and uh, consult with your with the civil party as to uh, which response uh, he uh, takes à la partie civile, quelle réponse il peut apporter. Mr. President and the Defense Council, do you have the floor? La défense a la parole. While the civil party is reviewing the list of questions by the chamber, I have a small suggestion as to the partition to block the civil party from the public. I think uh, the partition should be a bit lower so that the, the bench can actually have a clear view of the civil party while the block is still effective for the, the audience sitting behind him. And uh, I'd like to also uh, review the response by the civil party when he finishes answering the list of questions by le, the chamber. La uh, president, uh, in fact, this is the only partition that we have, uh, and it has been Nous set up or it has been in, prepared since uh, the commencement of case 001. And uh, with your suggestions, the chamber le will uh, take it into a consideration. And the court officer, please uh, go and get the uh, list of uh, questions from the RISU support staff. Auprès du membre de l'unité d'appui aux témoins et experts. And the court officer, uh, please take the document uh, for the uh, defense council uh, review before it can be uh, included into the case file. Oh, President and uh, Mr. Civil Party, towards Monsieur the end civil. of your testimony, do you have a right, or rather, you will be given an opportunity to make a statement of impact of what happened to you during the period of Democratic Cambodia, if you wish to do so? And please uh, indicate to the chamber as to whether you wish to take that opportunity and pursuant to Rule 91 bis of the Internal oh, rules of the ECCC. The legal lawyers for the civil party will be given the opportunity civil. first to put Donc, a question to the civil party, and the uh, combined time for both the civil party uh, legal lawyers les and les for the prosecution is one full morning and one session in the afternoon. You uh, may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je vais donner la parole you, à, à mon confrère Kiminki, qui va commencer les questions. I'm going to give the floor to my colleague Kiminki, who will begin uh, with uh, the questions. Well, I'm going to go to the next question. I'm going to go to Good morning, Mr. President. My name is Lau Minh Khe. I am a civil party lawyer to put questions to this civil party that is through TCCP 304. And uh, good morning, Mr. Witness. Bonjour. I have some questions to put to you, and the first question is the following. Before 17 April 1975, where were you and what were you doing? Answer. In 
réponse. I was a, en 1915, soldier, j'étais soldat. Uh, protecting the province of Takeo. J'étais chargé de protéger la province de Takeo. Question. Question. Can you tell the uh, court which unit or division Pouvez-vous you belong to and whether you became a soldier at your own will? Et pourriez-vous nous dire également si vous êtes devenu soldat de votre plein gré? Answer. Réponse. At that time, I did not volunteer to à join it. Je ne pas I porté was volontaire. compelled. J'ai été contraint to join the force as we were not allowed to stay uh, behind in the village with our parents. Nous pas le droit de rester dans nos villages chez nos parents. Question. Question. Can you tell the uh, court what kinds of uh, tasks or duties that you did while you were in that duty unit? Question. I was in the in that unit and I was first asked to carry earth and to dig canals. Question. And can you describe in general what you did after that at and at which location in a chronological uh, form, if you can recall it? Façon chronologique, si vous vous en souvenez. Answer. Réponse. At that time, I was building the dam in Kpo Patrobai. And the dam still exists Kpo-Tabai. today. Le barrage est toujours présent d'ailleurs, à l'heure actuelle. I also involved in digging a canal, stretching from Kpo Patrobai to Tropeng Kul. Et cool. Question. And please uh, keep uh, continue. After you finish, for example, working at that uh, work site, uh, what you did next, and uh, in which year, uh, for instance, and at what location, and what was your uh, role uh, at that time? Can you do that? Answer. Réponse. Let me uh, go uh, to the uh, earlier years. In 1971, I was still living with my parents. And around 1971 or 72, my father was imprisoned in office 204. And in around 1972 or 73, I joined the army. And uh, in the year, uh, rather from that year up to the year 1975 or 76, I was still a a soldier. But then, by 1975, my unit was assigned to protect or to be stationed near the uh, Namre Romil mountain. And the purpose of being assigned there was to go and capture Ta Prum San, although I did not know who Ta Prum San was. That person, that is Ta Prum San, was accused of being a traitor, and with that instructions, we went to base ourselves there, and we remained there until 1977. And uh, let me uh, uh, 
go back a little bit. In fact, in 1975, my my firearm was stolen, and then I was accused of giving that firearm to Prumsan's clique. La clique de Prumsan. And in fact, at that time, uh, soldiers on patrol uh, took my uh, firearm as I was uh, staying in bed, uh, contracted with malaria at the time. Alité, I was then re-educated uh, for one whole afternoon. Pendant un and I I was strongly advised not to betray the party or the army. So I stay there in Trapang Lip area, that is with the army, during 1976. And by 1977, I was assigned to Krang Tachan. Question. You Question. mentioned a person by the name of Prum San. Did you know uh, that person? Uh, that is Prum San. And who was Prumsan? him? And did you actually capture him? Answer. I did not know Prum San. Je ne connaissais pas Prumsan à l'époque. I uh, did not know him because I heard that he lived in Tramco and I was in Liebo. Et moi je vivais à Liebo, c'est ça que je ne after pas. 1975 he became Après, chief of the Tramco commune and by that time I, I, I knew him, so that is after 1979, and later on he died in the commune. Après 1979, il est mort dans la commune de Tramcock. Question. Question. You also stated that uh, while you were there, uh, you lost uh, your firearm, and then and then you were uh, re-educated. Later on, you were transferred to uh, Krang Tachan. Can you expand a little bit uh, further on the events around uh, this period of time? Answer. When my réponse. actually my firearm was stolen, as I was uh, resting in a trench uh, with two other soldiers, and I was reassured by my other two uh, uh, soldiers that I I could rest in the trench and uh, leave the firearm just at the edge of the trench, but actually it was uh, stolen, and as a consequence I was uh, re-educated for one afternoon, and then I remained uh, with that army, and for no clear uh, reason, I was transferred to Grand uh, Tachan, that is to uh, provide security there, or simply means uh, to guard Grand uh, Tachan. Questions. Question. So, upon uh, your arrival at Grand Tachan, uh, you were assigned à as a guard Tachan, there. Is de that correct? Answer. I uh, was uh, transferred to Grand Tachan, but initially I was not allowed uh, départ, to go into the compound. I was put into a, a youth unit in Chirum Pagoda, and I remained there for several months. 
and j'y suis resté pendant quelques mois. That, uh, during a transplant rice uh, transplanting uh, season that is a common sort brand vie, of a rice I engaged in the transplanting of that rice uh, at the Krang Tachan. Au repiquage du riz à Krang Tachan. Question. So first, uh, you stayed at Chum Pagoda, uh, then you involved in the rice Kachum. transplantation Ensuite, at the Krang Tachan. Were you considered a staff member of Krang Tachan Center or a prisoner at the time of the rice transplantation? Answer. Réponse. Initially, when I was assigned, Au départ, I was ordered to stay at Chakrum Pagoda. On m'a demandé de rester à la pagode de Chakrum. In and later on, I was uh, accompanied by a. Et par la suite. A combatant to Krang Tachan, and Un then I was handed over to Krang Tachan. Krang Tachan. Then to the uh, so the army commander there, où j'ai vu un commandant de l'armée. The commander there who was studying. In an office in a village uh, whose name I cannot recall clearly, it, it could be uh, pronounced uh, Chan Tip. That person told me uh, that I now would be transferred to Akranta Chan for uh, tempering and that I had to sacrifice myself and be loyal to the party in order to defend party, the revolution, to make, to make it more uh, prosperous. So uh, subsequently, you started working at Krang Tachan. Is that correct? That is after uh, you made a commitment to defend the party. Answer. After I was. Uh, advice and uh, educated. Then I I followed uh, the advice of the, the parties. Le conseil des parties du parti. And I remained there until 1928 when I was sent uh, to fight against the uh, Vietnamese troops. Lutter contre les troupes vietnamiennes. Can you state the again? From which year to which year uh, you worked at the Krang Tachan Security Center? Answer. Réponse. I started working at Krang Tachan office from 1977, and uh, by 1978, I was transferred back to Division 210 in order to go to the battlefield to fight against the Vietnamese troops. Council. Question. Question. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, could you describe for the court uh, what were you assigned oui, to do there? Chambre, Answer. At Krang Tachan Security Office, first, de de Krang Tachan, I was 
indoctrinated by the chief of the security le chef de la qui est so that I could provide security and safety for the whole Krangtajan security office. Number two, I was asked to voice my commitment that if one person or prisoner could escape, uh, my life uh, would end. Alors, cela aurait mis un terme à ma vie. Question. You were in charge of, of the security. You were guarding the place to avoid the escape of the prisoner. Is that true? Vous gardiez l'enceinte pour éviter que les prisonniers ne s'échappent. Est-ce exact? Answer. Réponse. After I was indoctrinated. I comply with their plan until alors I escaped that place and was transferred to my um, army. Et été à vers Question. Later on, could you tell the court Question. when you were working there as a, a security guard, what was the structure of uh, the guard unit? Was there a chief? And who was responsible for what duties? Answer. I could recall some of uh, the information because it has been over 30 years. The head of the security office was Ta An, Ta Ping, Ta Jane. The three individuals were, had, they were the leaders of uh, the security office of Grand Ta Chan area. I recall Chien Muen, and I could not recall all the names. Council, thank you very much. Could you tell the courts? Je vous remercie. Pourriez-vous à présent dire à la chambre? Where were the prisoner arrested Où? and sent from? Est-ce que les prisonniers étaient arrêtés et depuis quel endroit ils étaient envoyés? Answer. When I was a guard. Réponse. The people from the, the security office did not uh, go to collect the prisoner. The the there were special units in commune districts, districts and sectors in respective areas. So those special Chacun units would send the prisoner uh, to the security office and uh, people in the security office would go outside the compound to collect uh, the prisoners. Council, thank you very much. As a guard at that place, when prisoner went into the security office, were their name registered or were they photographed? Leur nom, est-ce que on les prenait en photo? Answer. I did not Réponse. make any records concerning the number of the prisoners or victims. Je pas I uh, was not aware of it. Du nombre de prisonniers ni de victimes, donc je n'en savais rien. Council. When prisoner entered into the security office, question: Lorsque les prisonniers entraient dans le bureau where de sécurité, were they detained où after their arrival? Arrêté. Où étaient-ils mis en détention? Answer: 
Upon arrival, prisoner would be put in a house and uh, they, their ankles uh, were shackled. Dans un et alors Ambien, uh, Ambien uh, Council were prisoner Question. interrogated and tortured. interrogated and tortured. Les torturait-on Answer. Réponse. Yes. Oui. Prisoner were interrog interrogated by the security, uh, by people working in the security office. C'était les gens qui travaillaient au centre de sécurité qui s'en chargeaient. Counsel, were they interrogated or killed Question. at their security office? Où est-ce que on les exécutait à ce centre de sécurité? Answer yes. Réponse. A prisoner were oui. interrogated. They were beaten up. Ils étaient They uh, à were tabac. plastic bag uh, were tied uh, around their face, their, their eyes. Sur la tête. Answer. Sur les Beside. Yeux. Bitting and besides, uh, the plastic bag was Mis used to tie to tie their eyes. So, what Et were others' uh, treatment or other uh, measure that they used Quelle on those prisoners? Les autres mesures ou qu'est-ce que l'on faisait également à ces prisonniers? Answer: I was not aware of any other types of torture. Réponse. Je n'avais connaissance d'aucun autre type de torture. Damien Kat. Council. Question. Were prisoners released uh, to go outside? Did they have uh, freedom to go outside? Les prisonniers étaient-ils libérés Avaient-ils le droit d'aller à l'extérieur librement Yes. Réponse. Prisoners could uh, maybe relieved uh, to go and live with oui. their families and their rel relatives. On libérait parfois <laughs> les prisonniers pour qu'ils rentrent à when you were avec there, leur famille. Did you recall proches. How many prisoners were brought in one day and how many prisoners were released? Par jour et du nombre de prisonniers qui étaient libérés à l'époque où vous y étiez. Answer as a guard at the outside compound. The numbers varied. Sometimes there were no prisoners coming in. Prisoners would be brought from mobile units or from cooperatives into the security office. I was uh, guarding at the east of uh, the compound, and perhaps uh, one day there were only two or three prisoners are brought in, but the number were it, as I said. Counsel, thank you very much. What about uh, the prisoners who uh, were released? Were there are many of them released uh, from the security office? Answer. As for the Réponse. survivor from the security office, I don't think there were many of them. S'agissant des survivants du bureau de sécurité, je ne pense pas qu'il y en ait beaucoup. Counsel, what Question. about the type of prisoners? Were there any uh, child who were were there any children who were detained there, or were there any infants? Answer. From my observation, Réponse. children and baby, they were voir, coming with uh, their parents. Les bébés avec leurs parents. 
council. Well, there was a separation Question. of uh, children, baby or male and les female, female enfants, prisoners in that area. Les bébés étaient-ils séparés? Les hommes étaient-ils séparés des femmes? Y avait-il des and séparations? So, during that time, the Réponse. babies or children lived with uh, their parents. Les bébés ou les enfants à cette époque-là vivaient, demeuraient avec leurs parents. Council, thank you very much. In relation to health issue and hygiene of the prisoners, s'agissant des questions de santé et de l'hygiène des prisonniers, were medicines provided to the prisoners, or were prisoners allowed to clean themselves regularly? Étaient-ils autorisés à se laver régulièrement? Answer. I was a guard at the outer perimeter. Je montais la garde. Prisoners in the detention facility were not allowed to clean themselves, or they were not provided a medicine. Ne recevait pas de médicaments et n'avait pas la possibilité de se laver régulièrement. Counsel, thank you. Question. Did you ever hear about the incidents of rape or torture against a, a female prisoner? Viol ou de torture contre à l'encontre des femmes? Answer. From my observation, Réponse. among the personnel uh, there. I uh, did not see any mistreatment on uh, female prisoners. On est maltraité les prisonnières. But I think that uh, prisoners, some uh, female prisoners, were already raped, Mais and after that they were brought into the security office. Counsel, I uh, would like to clarify your answer. Uh, what did you mean by Question. the fact that prisoners from outside were raped, and after that they were brought into the office? Answer, I would like to make a clarification on this matter. Réponse. Permettez que je clarifie. Some people had a moral, had committed a moral offenses. Certaines personnes and avaient été uh, after that, uh, these people were brought in morale. to the security office for re-education. alors amenées au bureau. Counsel, thank you very much. Pour être ré Avocat, je vous remercie. Concerning the food ration for prisoners. Question s'agissant. What was the food ration for prisoners of or for people who were detained in the office? Quelles étaient les rations alimentaires pour les prisonniers ou pour les personnes qui étaient détenues au bureau? Answer. Concerning the food ration, prisoners did not have uh, enough Réponse. food to eat. They could have Les prisonniers n'avaient pas suffisamment gruel mixed with uh, cassava or potato. Sometimes prisoners could have only the uh, watery gruel. Il n'y avait que du bouillon clair seulement pour les prisonniers. Counsel, thank you very much. Uh, I am now Madame running out of questions in relation to Grand Tatian Security Office, but I have a last question for you. My question is, you said that uh, you were transferred uh, in 1978 to go into battle uh, with a Vietnamese. Vous avez dit que so could you clarify this for the court? Vous battre Answer. contre les Vietnamiens. Pourriez-vous clarifier? In 1978, réponse. 
all soldiers were collected and uh, they were put into the division in order to go to battle to fight uh, the Vietnam. Sur le front et ont été placés dans sein de division pour aller lutter contre le Vietnam. Council, what did you mean? You meant uh, all soldiers who were constricted and collected Vous dites donc to fight the Vietnamese or who uh, were ont été coming appelés. into the territory of Cambodia? Pour lutter contre les Vietnamiens qui envahissaient le territoire du Cambodge. Answer. I did not know the details. However, in 1978, je ne pas les I was transferred to Division 102, set by a civil party, and uh, I was assigned to uh, go and fight the Vietnamese who entered the territory of Cambodia. Council, thank you very much. Uh, I finished my line of questioning. Thank you very much. Uh, the trial chamber, which allowed me to put a uh, question to the civil party. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Nous, nous n'avons plus de questions du côté des partis civils. Nous laissons la place au, au bureau des, des coprocureurs. President, I now hand over the floor to the international deputy co-prosecutor. You may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President, Your Honors. Uh, good morning, Mr. Civil Party. I want to um, follow up first with um, something uh, you just uh, testified to. Um, you said that um, you didn't see mistreatment of female prisoners, but that some had been already raped before they were brought to the security center. And you then explained that some people had committed moral offenses and were therefore brought to the security center for re-education. Uh, I'd like you to clarify, uh, did you mean by this that there were women who had been raped, who were brought to Prang to Chan as prisoners for committing moral offenses? Answer. I was not aware of it, but I, Je en avais pas connaissance. I knew that uh, people had uh, moral offenses Mais and je were savais que brought into the security office, ou and I did not know how the uh, people view those people who had uh, moral offenses. Je ne savais pas quels étaient les, les avis ou les points de vue à ce sujet. You said that there were female prisoners who had been raped before arriving at the security center. How did you know that? Answer. For example, prisoners who had committed Par moral exemple, offenses, they were not allowed uh, to go outside the compound to carry fertilizer or cow dung. And I had some occasion asked them and chatted with them. With them. That's why I knew that they had uh, committed moral offenses. Okay, thank you um, for that answer. But let me go back. Um, I wanted to ask you uh, some questions relating to your status um, in this case. 
Um, you were first interviewed by the investigating Dans judges uh, on the 28th of November 2007. And uh, the following year, in August 2008, uh, after you had been uh, located and interviewed by OCIJ as a witness, uh, you filed to become a civil party. Uh, can you tell the court why you wanted to become a civil party? Answer. I filed an application to be a civil party because I had my father and my siblings or relatives died in the period. I want to ask you about uh, some testimony uh, that another civil party, Sai Sen, has given in this court uh, on the 5th of February 2015. Uh, this is at E1 slash 257.1 uh, at uh, around 11.21.55. And the civil party, Saisen, testified here about some communications you had with him uh, regarding what he would say to this court. And I quote, vous et lui, et il dit la chose question, question, is Sang afraid of what you may tell Sang the investigators and the tribunal regarding the role he played at Krang Pachan. Did he give you any advice regarding that? Answer. He used to talk to me and tell me that if I was asked anything about him, please just tell that we were prisoners at that time before. Now he addresses me as Bong, and he suggested that I should say only that he was the prisoner there as well. He told me once or twice about this. He suggested this once or twice. End of quote. My question to you, uh, Mr. Sotsang, is it fair to say that you Monsieur were worried Sotsang, or concerned about having to testify at this tribunal about what took place at Krang Tachan? Answer. Uh, Nous n'avions pas le droit de mentionner son nom et qu'il était préférable d'utiliser un pseudonyme. Under your supervision, Mr. President, it would appear that we are not entitled to use the civil party's name. It would be appropriate for us to use a pseudonym. I'm sorry. At my the memo, the memo I received said that we were allowed to use the name of the civil party. Que le nom de la civile. Uh, Mr. Civil Party, do you remember my question? Accusation. My question Monsieur is, um, did question you have concerns or worries about having to testify at this tribunal? about what took place at Krang Tachan. Answer. Réponse. Talking about Mr. Soi Sain, I did not know when he was brought into the security office. S'agissant de Soi Sain, Soi Sain have Sain, never talked uh, to me amené. and uh, he never lived in the same village of mine. Um, but I uh, was invited to uh, his child's wedding, and I did not uh, talk to him in 
on the fact that I was afraid to talk about uh, the incidents at the uh, Frankajan Security Office. I have never spoken with him about this matter. Uh, my question to you, uh, Mr. Civil Party, is whether you personally had concerns or worries about having to come here and testify about Krang Tachan. I have filed a, an application to be a civil party. I, I, I have no worries, and I will testify before the court of what I have experienced. Let me ask you a few questions uh, regarding the period you worked in the district militia. Uh, today, uh, you told the court that you joined the Tramcock District Militia in uh, 1972 or 1973. Do you remember uh, the capture or liberation of Ang Tassam town by the Khmer Rouge in 1973? In 1973, I was still in the uh, militia unit, but I was not engaged in any fighting. I was actually assigned to carry uh, the wounded in uh, the battlefield. Uh, I understand that you weren't engaged Question. in fighting. Uh, do you remember when Ang Tassam town was captured by the Khmer Rouge uh, and what was done with the residents of that town uh, when it was liberated? When Ang Tassam Town fell, although I knew that uh, it was fell, I did not know the year. Ou plutôt, j'ai appris que la ville était tombée, mais je ne sais pas en quelle année. And do you know what happened to the residents of the town Question. after it was liberated? Question. Savez-vous ce qu'il est advenu des habitants de cette ville une fois qu'elle a été libérée? I was engaged at the front, Réponse. so I did not know actually what happened after Ang Tassam town fell. Je ne sais pas ce qui est des après sa prise. Thank you. Let me turn um, to a few questions about the arrest and detention of your father at Office 204, um, which you told us today um, took place in 1971 or 1972. Um, in answer 103 of your OCIJ interview E319.1.23, it's answer 103, you stated that you had, and I quote, a bad background involved with my father, who was accused of being a spy. And, and in answers 30 to 31 of that same interview, you testified as follows, quote, question, what were grounds for arrest? Answer. Based on my observation, I did not see any grounds. But in the case of my father in 1971, the Khmer Rouge military accused my father of being a spy. At that time, my father was sent to undergo training at Office 204. End of what and where uh, was Office 204.
President, Mr. Witness, uh, please uh, wait. And Defense Council, do you have the floor? Defense Council, Mr. President, I'd like to object uh, to Monsieur the question raised by the co-prosecutor as the fact that was outside the temporal jurisdiction of this court as it happened pre-1975. Elle porte sur la période qui date d'avant 1975. Voilà pourquoi j'ai posé cette question. President, the objection by the Defense Council is uh, overruled. Although it is out of the scope, it is related to the facts being debated before this court. And the witness is incited to respond to the last question put to you by the Deputy International Co Prosecutor. And yes, please respond, Mr. Witness. Answer. In 1971, uh, the incident involving the arrest of my uh, father, it happened during uh, the fight that broke out between the Lunol Army and the, uh, the Liberation Force. It happened on the eighth day of a my uh, lunar calendar, le, le jour he was, uh, my father was at a school, and during the fighting between the Lonol uh, force and the Khmer Rouge force, my father Lonel was arrested as he was uh, being arrêté. accused of il a, a spy working for the Lonol side. À la solde de Can you tell us what was your father's occupation at the time he was arrested, and why was he accused of being a spy? He did not hold any position. Il n'avait pas de fonction particulière. In fact, uh, his, he was faithful to uh, Buddhist religion, and he was known as Acha Krom. And he went to seek uh, Buddhist uh, disciplines at uh, that discipline building in the uh, pagoda. Just so I'm clear, you're saying your father was an Achar at the time he was arrested? He is not a, a real professional Achar, but he was uh, just a, an Achar in the village. Il était Achar dans le village. Do you know why he was accused of being a spy? Question. Savez-vous pourquoi il a été accusé d'être un espion? The Liberation Force accused him of being a, a spy. Les forces de libération l'ont accusé d'être un espion. Because a monk from Ksang Pagoda uh, came uh, to that building where my father was, and that monk was arrested. Et cet homme a and été uh, they found a binocular on that monk. For that reason, all the Achars, including my father, were arrested and sent to be detained at Office 204. And do you know where Office 204 was located? Question. Savez-vous où se trouvait le bureau 204? I only heard of Office 204 and Réponse. I had never been there. Réponse. J'ai entendu parler du bureau 204, mais je ne m'y suis jamais rendu. 
In uh, answer 45 of um, the Question same interview I mentioned a while ago, E319.1.23, you stated that your father was arrested in 1971 and detained for a period of two years. Uh, after he was released, did your father uh, tell you anything about Après Office 204 and what took place there while he was detained at Office 204? I actually asked him uh, after he was released from Office 204, and he told me that there was no need for me to know, and that I should just do what the revolution of what Anka assigned me to do. And in late 1973, he died. Uh, in his uh, trial testimony uh, on the 21st Dans of January 2015 in this court, uh, the reference is E1 249.1 at 11.07.28 through 11.09.31. Uh, witness Mias Soka uh, provided the following testimony, quote, Office 204 was a detention center for former Law Nol officials who had been arrested from Ang Tassam or elsewhere, and the rich or the capitalists were also detained in that office, which was located to the west of Trapian Grand Hong. End of quote. Uh, do you know whether Office 204? Uh, was a site at which former Law si officials were detained? As I stated uh, at that time, I only heard of the name of Office uh, 204. And that was all I uh, knew about it. Oh, oh, President, uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Deputy International Co-Prosecutor. It is now a convenience to have a 20-minute break. We take a break now and uh, resume at 10.30. And, court officer, please uh, assist the witness during the break and invite him as well as the visu staff back into the courtroom at 10.30. And please uh, draw the curtain before you invite uh, the civil party uh, out and do the same when they return. The court is now in recess.